I still don't doubt it. So I know, I feel confident, I always have. If I wanted to get a job, I could, if I was qualified. I lived in white neighborhoods, white towns for many, many, many years. And I remember coming to Lake County about six years ago, and I said to people here that I volunteered with, I'm so happy to be in a community where there's some racial diversity. And they looked at me like, well, where is it? You know? <laughs> I said, well, the Native Americans. And there are other people here. Not a lot, but I say it's by and large a white community. Um, I feel like a lot of the jobs, this, this argument about people taking jobs is real excuses. And that uh, I said to somebody recently, I said, well, are you prepared not to eat vegetables and fruits, meat, chicken, drink wine, beer? Because all those things are harvested by people usually of a different nationality and a different color. And uh, they just sort of looked at me, the people I said that to, like, oh, wow, okay. And uh, anyway, that's about all I have to say, except I have never, ever, ever doubted it. And I learned early on that there were people in this country, that at least the white people I was around, felt uh, free to make jokes about. Um, and when I was growing up, there was Jewish people, there was black people. And then later on in life, I learned on a job that you could sum it up, and I won't use the word, but Jews, uh, black people, and gay people in that order. And I heard that frequently. So I'm well aware of discrimination, although I can go out. I used to think, and I said it, I was so grateful I wasn't born black or a gay man, because they both, and I know other people suffer as well, but they've both taken so much anger and discrimination. And um, I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you for the program. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. calling. You're welcome. So I remember I was reading a book for my English class, and it was a native son. And it had to do with uh, a black boy and his family. And I remember after that, after reading it and the conversation that we had in class, Mr. McClanahan, English. Shout out to Mr. McClanahan. <laughs> um, Again? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, him, he he told us that one thing that he did tell me, and I still remember, I will probably remember for like the rest of my life, is how an African-American man father has to have a talk with his children and not necessarily like the talk, like the birds and the bees. Right, right. Yeah, but the t conversation that because the way you look, you will be discriminated against. You will be judged just because the way that you look. Yeah, and I think that's harsh because, you know, a kid, like, you can't really get that in your head at first. You know, you're like, what is he talking about? Well, that's what I would do.